Hi and welcome everyone to Tuesday Talks. This series offers to the point job search tips that are relevant in today's job market. I'm Leslie Stearns, Lead Talent Development Facilitator here at Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area. And today's topic is networking. So why is networking so important? Well, networking helps you meet people at all different types of professional levels and those who can introduce you to more experienced professionals as well. It also provides the opportunity to gain access to career advice, which is key to your future growth. Networking can also help you find a job. So, why should you use networking to find a job? Well, building quality relationships is a good way to get a job. This works whether you're looking for new employment or not. It can help you get an interview or advancement to your career. Effective networking can help you be seen, and this can lead to a new promotion at work or even new job opportunities. I'm going to provide you with three t top skills to have in order to be able to network successfully. Tip number one, do your research. Before you begin to network, you need to know what you want, the type of job you're looking for, you're seeking the industry or associations that interest you or businesses you admire. Then research who to contact. Who are the individuals that you can effectively reach out to to help you achieve your goal? Use LinkedIn to follow companies. This will help you find out the people in the businesses who you can contact for mentoring, career advice, and provide you with information to their job openings. Also utilize chamber lists. This is a great way to find businesses of interest. And then go to the company website, look for their career page, look for their job openings. And if you're located in Central Austin, you can also utilize Austin Business Journal and Community Impact, two resources that will help you check out the businesses and industries in specific areas. Tip number two, ask questions and listen. Don't be afraid to start a conversation. Ask open-ended questions. This will allow you to build on those answers. Remember, networking is about building relationships, not about just making contacts. People want to know what you've heard and appreciate their experience and what they have to say. More than likely, the people you're speaking with have been looking for new opportunities or employment themselves. So ask how they found their career. Asking for advice never hurts. People usually like to be asked for help. It means you value their opinion and see them as a good resource of information. It's helpful to clearly tell those that you contact that you don't expect anything that, to look for a job, but rather just seeking information and advice. Tip number three, find ways to give back. You want to create those win-win situations. It's very important that both you and the other party gain equally when networking. If you benefit more than the other person, he or she might feel a little bit used. And when that happens, you won't be able to go back and build that long-term relationship that you need. So, if you can, Make someone's life easier in some way, particularly what, if what you're offering is something that you can give freely and easily. Then it could be a great start to a wonderful relationship. Remember, networking is building a circle of colleagues and friends who can help each other over time to be successful in reaching each other's goals. It's time to take control of your career and networking with professionals in your industry or field or those who you admire, respect, and trust. Networking is a two-way street. That way, both parties will grow their networks. To dig deeper into this topic, we have a workshop called The Art of Networking. This is a free hour-long workshop. And if you'd like to find out about other topics that we have, and services that Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area provides, please visit our website at WorkforceSolutionsRCA.com. There you'll be able to find our offices at our workforce uh, locations, areas uh, that are close to you, schedule an appointment, come in and speak with a career counselor. But I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. 
and I wish you the very best in your job search efforts. Next month, please join my colleague, Kelly Langley, and she will discuss career exploration. Thank you again and see you next time.